many people expect that Obama will indeed ask for more troops, for more German troops in Afghanistan, and, and those troops should also be sent to, to southern Afghanistan. Many Americans um, are, are concerned that, that Germany and other European countries are, are free riders, or that they want Americans to do the dirty work in Afghanistan, whereas they do the nice, not so controversial, peacekeeping reconstruction and so on. And but I, if Obama is asking for um, German troops, um, he won't get them, I believe. Yeah. In, in 2009, we, we have an election in autumn, and I, I don't think any of the major, and even of the minor political parties can, can afford to, um, to, to, to support sending German troops to southern Afghanistan because it's such an unpopular uh, war. Um, how will this affect transatlantic relations? This, this issue is actually primarily symbolic, that Obama is simply coming to Europe and saying, please step up to the plate and give more troops, in order to look as if he's challenging the Europeans and asking for help, etc. But I don't think he really expects anything to change. And it's possible if Obama actually does begin to pull large numbers of troops out of Iraq, as he's promised to do, theoretically, as he's promised, he could shift a significant number number of those troops into Afghanistan, and assuming that more troops improve security, which I'm not sure I would agree with, but assuming that takes place, then pressure on Europe to send more troops might actually go away. You wouldn't need this symbolic issue anymore. But, I mean, American politicians always need some kind of a symbolic issue with European partners just to avoid the impression, just to maintain the idea that there's some distance between the American and European political orders and that the interests are never completely consistent. So, I mean, I think that you frequently see these issues come up, but I'm not sure they really have much of an effect on the background of trade and intelligence cooperation and military cooperation, which seems to run pretty much perfectly. Well, not perfectly, but runs very well, regardless of whether there are certain disputes over policy issues like troops in Afghanistan. American presidents need to be seen to be trying to get more troops from Afghanistan, but I think secretly they know that they can't ever, they can't really do that, and that it's out of their control, and they will accept it when it doesn't happen, and then just express some dissatisfaction. If this, if if it continues this way, the the, the burden sharing issue, um, that. Um, Euro bashing will increase in the American blogosphere, um, um, and do, do you think um, this will have an effect on on transatlantic relations? I'm not really sure it will. I mean, obviously, Euro bashing and Europhobia go up and down. But I'm not really sure that uh, that it ever has, you know, deep-seated, long-lasting consequences for transatlantic relations, because first of all, Euro bashing is politically localized on the right, especially on the neoconservative right, and so Europe is sort of a punching bag for certain commentators on the right wing of the American political spectrum. But the thing is, that has always been true, and it, it has never changed. And even if European countries send more troops to Afghanistan, you know there will still be a lot of Euro bashing on the right end of the political spectrum. And so there's, I mean, what would be really unusual is if you began to see harsh criticism of Europe from people on the left, but I really don't think you're going to see that. I mean, I think the basic, because I think what you see on the left is a willingness to understand that a lot of European reluctance to send troops to Afghanistan is based on the fact that the United States went to war in Iraq in open defiance of the advice of its close European allies. So the right wants to move, wants to keep both of these issues completely separate. You know, there's a NATO, NATO made a decision to go into Afghanistan and now the NATO partners need to stand up and they want to pretend that the invasion of Iraq had nothing whatsoever to do with that. But as we all know from talking to Germans and Italians and French people every single day, the whole Afghanistan issue is intimately connected with the war in Iraq. And there was a great loss of trust, a great loss of cooperation, willingness to cooperate when the invasion of Iraq took place.